Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 21st of June, 2016. I am Arash Zapar D. Bazaar. This is going to be a quick video blog. I got to go right after and do some other fucking shit like Skype sessions. If you haven't done a Skype session with me, you are missing out. And if you have done one, then you know what I'm talking about. We're going to talk about relationships again. Part number two, how to keep your relationships together. Um, here's the one, one thing that you're missing. <clears throat> When I get a lot of spin in my mouth, is when I start getting a sore throat. Oh. A lot of spin in my mouth. <clears throat> Here's what you're missing. You have it backwards. Here's what you're thinking. Now, now pay attention because you're going to think that what I'm saying is not true for you. But just pay attention because it is true. It is true. I know the truth when it comes to relationships. Okay? Here's where it goes. Think about your relationship right now. If you're in one. If you're not in one and you're about to get into one or you want to talk to somebody, still, this applies to you. It applies universally everywhere. Here it goes. You're thinking to yourself in regards to the other person. You're thinking, what can I get? <clears throat> How does that person fulfill me? Somewhere deep in your subconscious mind, you are thinking, what does the other person bring to you? Okay? Which sounds legit. Sounds legit. Of course, they should be fulfilling you, right? Good. <clears throat> that is the reason why your relationship won't stay together. It is the reason why, one of the reasons why you will break up your relationship. I need better lighting. Because you're constantly thinking, how could the other person fulfill you? Okay? Let me give you the proper idea in a relationship. Here's how it goes. Try it. Try it right now if you're in a relationship. Try this real quick. Think about your, your relationship. Think with this. <clears throat> How can you fulfill them? Forget about them fulfilling you. How can you fulfill them? Fill them full. Make them full. It might seem like a big stretch for you to do that. And at that moment, you realize how selfish you are. And you love to walk around and say, it's, uh, I always give everything I have in a relationship. You don't. You are so fucking pathetic in a relationship that you can't even think outside of your own fucking head. <clears throat> I'm the number one seduction artist on the planet, probably in the universe now. And the way that this works is very simple. When I seduce a woman, it's not about me, it's about her, period. It's not about me, it's about her. I will listen to her. I will read every cue her body gives me. I will know more about her in five minutes than her best friend or her husband knows. And then I fulfill her. After I fulfill her, right, she then because she's filled, she's fully filled, fulfilled, she will then naturally want to reciprocate, which is bring back, stop that. It's fine. She will try to bring back and give back because she has been given what she desires and outside of me she can't find it anywhere else. <clears throat> this becomes apparent to all my exes. In fact, if any of my exes are watching right now, two things for you. One, fuck you. Two, I've cursed you. You're fucked. And that's some real shit. You will recognize very quickly that your job in a relationship is simply this. How do you fulfill the other person? Otherwise, don't get in a relationship. It's like the purpose of business is to make money. Don't get in business if you don't like money. Don't get in business if you don't want to make money. Don't get in business to help people. There's a thousand ways you can help people that have nothing to do with business. When you get in business, it's to make money. That is the purpose of business. You understand? The purpose of relationship is just one, to fulfill the other person. <clears throat> This is why so many of you can't be in a good relationship, why so many of you ladies are terrible. Women are terrible at relationships. You are very terrible. You like to blame men because you have this mask, this shield that society has now taken up as if man is bad, the man is the bad person, the man is bad, the man is bad, and that's why you're suffering, okay? Men are better in relationships than women because women cannot think outside of themselves. They can do it for a short amount of time, but you need to, and that's what I'm here to tell you. So I'm here to teach you. I'm here to teach you that if you want your relationships to last, if you don't want to be miserable for the rest of your fucking life, you must think about the other person or stay out of a relationship. Become a hermit, go by yourself, go somewhere. But if you're going to relate to another human being in an intimate manner, there's one goal. How do you fulfill that person? Now remember, that other person is also listening to me, and they are thinking, how do they fulfill you? And now you have the yin and the yang working properly together. 
you're there to help the other person become fulfilled and grow and complete them, even though we have this idea, you shouldn't need somebody else to complete you. Yes, I understand that, moron, but when was the last time that worked for you? <clears throat> it was a great saying, but when was the last time it worked for you? You're much more fulfilled being in a relationship of a man and a woman, period. Period. And now gay people could say, well, no, gay people are not as fulfilled as straight people. Okay, you, you could quote me all over the fucking world. I love gay people. They fucking know. They know I have a lot of friends. They're not as fulfilled. Two gay men are totally promiscuous. Very, very hard for them to stay together. <clears throat> and two females are always insecure. They feel unsafe against the world. No matter how tough she tries to look, one of them tries to get tattoos on her neck, shave her head, walk around like she's a badass. If I fucking show up, she realizes she ain't no fucking badass. She'll immediately submit when I, someone like me shows up. They're insecure. But a man and a woman, a powerful man and a feminine soft woman can have a fulfilling relationship. A very fulfilling relationship. And to make the relationship extremely, extremely fulfilling, it'll be one powerful man with a lot of beautiful women. That's what truly will make it fulfilling. Now, that's not going to be this video blog. I didn't think I was going to get into it, but I might as well say it. If you're in a relationship with one man, Right, And that one man is only in a relationship with you. He's either cheating on you or he's unfulfilled or I'll talk to him in four years. As someone said on my Periscope today, Araj, how do you, after you've been with a girl for four years, stay sexually attracted to her? I said, very simple. You have other women. Then you never have to worry about that. I've been with Electra for 10 years and two months, three months almost in this, in this um, video, and I'm not attracted to any other woman as much as I'm attracted to her, period. 10 years and three months. Think about it for just a fucking second. But if it was just her and I, I'm sure she would be like my sister at some point or like my mother. And I do not want to fuck my sister or my mother, even though some of you crazy motherfuckers want to. <clears throat> a true fulfilling relationship is that. Why? Because it's the way of nature. Now, you could argue with me, but you can't argue with nature. You can argue with me, but you can't argue with gravity, can you? This is nature. Nature intends life to continue. I'm a mouthpiece for nature. If the heavens ever did speak, he's the last true mouthpiece. I don't even know if those are the words, but it sounds good. You must think about fulfilling the other person as a base or don't get in a relationship. If you're about to approach a woman, you guys, you look at the situation, you look at what she's doing, you look at all the whole thing and you start to ask some questions first internally before you approach her. What does she need right now? to feel comfortable, excited, and want to talk to me. Start there. As you approach and you talk and you get in conversation, you have one job, or one job to find out the information that you need to find out what fulfills her that night and later on. Then your job is to become that. Can you give me some thumbs, please? <clears throat> Faster, because the electric can get there right now. <clears throat> that is how you get into a relationship. That is how you stay in a relationship. Now. If you do what I just said, and your partner does what I said, the act of them fulfilling you, you fulfilling them becomes a relationship. A relationship is male-female energy combining together and becoming whole. The yin-yang symbol includes male and female. It's not just male. It's not just female. It's both. That's what a relationship is on planet Earth. <clears throat> Anywhere else, I don't know. I'm sure it is just because the, the hermetic law says the universe is gender-based. The universe, not planet Earth, okay? And so I know how that law applies to my life, okay? It's very simple. You know, let's say I had 12 girlfriends at some point. I wasn't as fulfilled as I am with three girlfriends right now. If I go from three to two, then I realize at that moment, maybe two is more fulfilling. Or maybe I'll get a third girlfriend right away. But right now, I'm fulfilled. The balance is great. Okay? And it's important for you to recognize that. Now, what goes on in my mind, I don't think myself, what can I get from my girlfriends? I think, how can I provide? What does each one need? I literally, you know how you do meditation? Well, I have demons. It's a little bit different now. But I literally look into them on a daily basis from far away. <clears throat> and based on that, I guide my actions through the day so that I can be the counterpart to their whatever unbalanced energy that I feel at that time.
that's my job as, as a boyfriend. And it changes. It changes on a daily basis. Rarely does it stay the same for two, three days. So now what are you going to do? Well, at least have a conversation and start with the basic of you are there to fulfill the other person and educate the other person. Educate them. Don't be the only one who knows this video and then your partner doesn't and then you break up again. Okay? They have to know what you know and they have to agree. Now, if they want to argue with me and you believe me, then the relationship is doomed. So you find somebody who understands what I'm saying. Okay? And if you're under that false illusion that, Arash, you know, I tried to show your video to people and they didn't get it. You're a fucking idiot. You showed it to the wrong people. Okay? Why did you get it? Either you're so goddamn smart and, and they're so stupid, then why would you show a video to stupid people? Or now you know they're stupid, so stop. Stop it. Stop worrying about them. Or, or you're the fucking idiot and they're smart, so you should stop watching me. But the reality is, it's the truth. And what you think, when you think, I showed your video to a lot of people. You have something? Is there tons? When you think to yourself that you've showed the video to so many people and so many people don't get it, you miss something. I'm famous worldwide because of my videos. You're watching me. For every one of people that don't get it, 20, 30, or 100 people get it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be famous, I wouldn't be rich, and you wouldn't be watching me. So stop spreading the stupid rumors that you spread that make you weaker. And pretend as if I'm saying some shit and you're the only fucking prophet that gets it besides me. You're fucking wrong. The truth, everybody gets it. If they're denying it, it's because they have something to hide and they're trying to control you. Do you understand the fucking difference? So drop that bullshit. And what you need to do, if this video hits you the way I know it did, then you press the fucking follow button on YouTube and you share this on your Facebook. A lot of you are chicken shit. You're chicken shit about sharing this stuff and you wonder why you're not powerful. If you're a fucking man and you can't say what I say, shame on you. And if you're a woman, oh, I really like watching him like secretly all the fucking time. He's so fucking great. He's so great. You know what? You're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. I hung out with a girl tonight. Absolutely gorgeous. I know she's going to watch this right now. I told her clearly, you are going to be miserable for the rest of your life. <clears throat> You're going to be absolutely miserable. I said, you better get it together. Thank you. What the fuck is this? It's Rolaids. It helps with that. Mmm, some candy. I know. How do you not become miserable? You understand the dynamics of male and female energy. This is video number two on how to fix your relationships. I am CNH and be the best, fuck the rest. Later.